Hi, this is Gail from Life and Splatters, and I'm going to show you how to get cells and lacing without expensive Aussie Flow trowel or other concoctions. So this is a large two foot by three foot canvas, and it's only a level two. So it's not as sturdy as the level three canvases. So I am going to spray the back with water to tighten it up a bit. The copper, gold, and silver paints that I'm using in this are all mixed three to four parts flow trawl uh, to one part paint and a little bit of water if necessary. Uh, I always torch because there are always bubbles in the paint that you may not see them, but you'll see them later when you don't want to see them. They don't look like cells, they look like bubbles that pop. I've now done four paintings using this technique and what I have learned is to add the colors in ribbons one color or two colors at a time. For one of the pieces I had laid all the ribbons down and then smeared over with the black Amsterdam mix and I found I was having difficulty. So it's easier to put first like the silver then smear it with the black, then add the copper, do the same thing with the black. Uh, I think the next is the gold. The most I would do would be two ribbons and then bring the black over it. But you'll see how beautifully the cells come up. This technique really gives dimension to the piece as well. I started also to wipe the back of the cake server onto the canvas because I'm picking up paint as I smear across. So that paint may as well be on the base coat of the canvas. But with that smear over the gold, watch the cells and the lacing come to life. It's really quite beautiful and uh, very easy to achieve. Uh, other things to keep in mind when trying this is you do need to torch the paint uh, to get rid of any air bubbles and you need to clean the cake server or offset spatula or palette knife off before you uh, apply the black paint again. Uh, and that's important because you don't really necessarily want to blend all these colors together. You want a clean black coating over the paint you're smearing over.
So I continue adding ribbons and applying the Black Amsterdam formula to the back of the cake server and smearing it across the colors until I've covered the whole canvas. And I think they're beautiful. I think the technique gives some great movement. The lacing and the cells are crazy considering you're only using American Floetrol and Amsterdam Black Oxide paint. And it's a four parts US Floetrol to one part paint. That's it. You can do it with the black. You can do it with the titanium white by Amsterdam. You can mix the black and the white and do it with a charcoal gray. So far, those are the, the three combinations that I've tried. And uh, I really like it. I really like it. And it works great for large canvases because you're not leaving a ton of paint on the canvas. Uh, this is a second really big one that I've done. And uh, I've had no problem with it drying. And I'll show some dried results at the end of the video. I also tried tilting it a little bit, um, but my paints, there's not a lot of paint on the canvas, so they really don't move too well, which is fine. I think I want to maintain the shape of those cells and the lacing. So be cautious if you're going to tilt, you could lose the shape of those cells. Now there's always the little housekeeping items. Uh, you may find that because your smear starts at one side and travels across, you may have removed a bit much paint from the edge of the canvas. So I go back with a little bit of paint on the popsicle stick, touch up the sides, uh, add a little bit where it's needed, and you can go in with the popsicle stick and create some interesting lines throughout the painting if you choose.
I'm very pleased with the results using this technique. You get almost a three-dimensional feel to it. That's partially from smearing across, blending the colors a bit, but bringing that black Amsterdam mixture over the other paints is all you need to do to create cells and lacing like this. So the formula is one part Amsterdam paint, four parts Floetrol. It works with the black, it works with the white, and it works when you blend the black and the white. I have yet to experiment with some colors, which may be happening soon. Thanks. So here's a 12 by 24 inch canvas that I did vertically using uh, my mysterious mixture, my new mixture for the pewter Americana decor metallics, and a custom mix of golds. And I used a silver as well. And I did the black oxide by Amsterdam mixed with Floetrol and smeared it over these ribbons of color. And again, look at the cells, look at the lacing. This is the full width of the piece. This is the 12 inches. And I'm scanning from top to the bottom. And I'm going to give credit to Tina Sacco of TSR Creations. She is the first one that I observed doing the simplest of formulas to achieve cells. And she was doing it with the titanium white. We did a collaboration together and now I'm experimenting further with the black, with gray, and really loving the simplicity of the formula to get these results. This is the third piece that I did, and it's a 12 by 24 inch canvas using the same technique of great big schmears. And in blues, gold, and silver, using the black Amsterdam formula to schmear over it. And here it is dry, really pretty. This is the painting that I had in my head and I wasn't certain that I would be able to do it. 
So I did it on a 20 by 24 inch canvas. And in retrospect, I wished I'd done it larger because I absolutely love it. Now we'll be, we're gonna see if I can duplicate it on a larger scale, but this one is absolutely glowing. And here are the dried results of this painting. It dried perfectly, no cracks. It has a beautiful shine and I'm quite pleased with it. And here is this one, 20 by 24 inches, and it is dry. And I wanted to show you the full composition. And finally, this is the painting, the two foot by three foot painting that I showed the complete how to at the beginning of this video. It's finally dry enough for me to bring it upstairs so I can get a proper photograph of it. But it is all metallics except for the black and it shines so beautifully. Anyway, thanks again for coming along and for uh, leaving all your kind comments and being so supportive. Thanks again. Take care. Bye-bye.